Hello viewers, welcome again to one of my classic camera for my collection. This is a 1956 Agfa iSelect Mark III. Now, it's 58 years old and the leather work of the case is also 58 years old. To protect it, I have rubbed it with some Neats for Oil. Or you, you can find stuff from a saddlery shop that deals with horses. If you don't protect it, all this leather work dries up and you'll find the strap will break, especially here. So look after the leather work of your classic cameras. The Agfa Isolette is a folding camera. When you undo it, please get your folders and let them out very slowly like that. Don't let them pop out, otherwise you'll find this film will be sucked out and will be out of focus. Also the leather work will gradually go. The Agfa Isolette is all manual. There's no batteries included, so you've got to do everything yourself. I find it's very, very interesting to use because you have to think. Now the Agfa has a synchro compure shutter made in Germany here, speeded from one second to one five hundredth of a second. The one five hundredth of a second has a stronger spring action. The lens is a 3.5 75mm uh, Solinar, which is the best lens in the Agfa range and gives tremendously good sharp pictures. It, for distance it, focusing, it has a rangefinder system. That is a rangefinder window and that is the viewfinder to which you put your eye at the back. It's like the human eye, left and right eye. The view from this rangefinder is a little circular view which is beamed across with a beam splitter to the viewfinder at the rear of the camera to which you put your eye. There. And you see two images, one of which is slightly coloured. Now when you turn the focusing knob here for the rangefinder, you turn that until the image from the rangefinder and the viewfinder are coincident, then it is in focus. Then you re read off the distance in your rangefinder control wheel here, say two meters, and then you remember to set two meters on your lens against the little uh, diamond here. If you don't re remember, your picture will be out of focus. Now the aperture control is on this little sliding unit here and you have to slide it until a little dot, black dot is opposite the aperture you require. Now this little dot, I'll put it, it's 5.6 now, there we are, that's on 5.6. You choose your shutter speed with the moving ring here on your, on your synchro compure shutter and that is on one two fiftieth of a second now. Then you set the spring by pushing it across and you press and the picture is taken. Hopefully you remember to focus it. Now what about the film? How do the folding cameras work? Well inside the, the rear of the camera we've got a, a dummy film loaded. You have a winding knob here which winds the film through. And as you wind, you will see a series of numbers appearing on the backing paper of the film. Now that is a start mark for cameras with automatic wind. But this is all manual, remember. The numbers are in three sets. The top set is for 16 frame camera. The middle set is for a 12 frame camera. And the bottom set is for an 8 frame camera. We're going to look at numbers in the middle through the middle window here because that runs from 1 to 12. So you watch the little frames as they, as they go through and so you might see the name of the film. This is called Ectochrome X, very old film. And you wind on until number 1 appears in the back of the window here. And then you see number 1. 
then you're ready to start photographing. Now, if you want to take some good pictures, try to use a fast shutter speed as possible because then you won't get any camera shake. I've got some wonderfully sharp photographs with this with a flash as well. The Synchro Compure has a flash setting with X and M with a little lever, a little green lever. If you push that across to M, that is for flash bulbs. And if you put it to X, it's for electronic flash. So most people use electronic flash nowadays, so keep it on X. I'll see if I can show you one of my exhibition photographs taken with Agfa iSelect Classic Camera. Here is one of my exhibition photographs. It's a darkroom print done 16 by 12 inches. A shopkeeper at the Seven Valley Railway 1940s event. When you zoom in, you can read all the detail of the newspaper. That was taken with a flash at F11. And it's a very, very sharp lens indeed. I hope you'll get some sharp ones like this. In the meantime, keep snapping with your classic cameras. And hopefully you'll get some good results. Thank you for watching.